Another cracking day on the water and the mackerel have been biting, both Spanish and spotted mackerel. So my mate Barney's just parked the, parked the car, we've got the boat in the water, it's time to head out and we're going to do a burling session. So we're going to cube up some pillies, feed those down the trail, get a few liveys first and hopefully get into some real screaming action. Two yakas and one slimy. And I got the fish funny. How come you got the rod again? Oh, mate, I've just got mine out. Well, that didn't take long. I've only been here dead set five minutes and I've just fed one of those live baits here. And straight away, he's been eaten. Awesome, so you can see there's a few boats working here. And uh, they're all trolling, but we're actually electrically anchored. I know you can say, what the hell is that, Guesty? Electrically anchored, well, we've got the electric motor in at the front and the spot lock on, and it's just holding us into this current. Current's roaring uphill. Got the cubes going down, and I thought I'll just throw a bait out while, while Barney's cubing up, and it's been eaten straight away. Spotted mackerel, I think, is what it is, and uh, they are just a magnificent looking fish. Well, soon no, anyway. He's gone a bit deep, this fish. All right, coming over. Mate. Oh, might be a. Is that. Is that. Well, I think that could be a Spanish mackerel, Barney. A Spanish <laughs> I mackerel? I think so. Yeah, might, right. That's a bit of an early call. I'm thinking spotted mackerel, but I just had a bit of a look at it. And it could. Oh, I think that might be a Spanish mackerel. No, spotted mackerel. Spotty. Just thought I saw a couple of bars. You know those bars that the Spanish yeah, right. have? Yeah, yeah. No, it's a spotted. No, spotted. when they're that size, you think they're a Spanish anyway. That's a big, such a big spotty. It is for a spotted mackerel, which grow to I think a maximum size of about 12 kilos, and you generally see them about four or five. And this bloke's every bit of that. Oh, look at it. Nice looking fish. fish. Whoa! <laughs> see that run back there. Not ready yet, mate. They're amazing fish, they're that big, long, slender torpedo shape. <laughs> that is one cracking spotted mackerel. And these blakes have got the sharpest teeth in the business, and you can see where they get that speed from. Big, long, elongated body. Those pectoral fins will fold back. They are just one big torpedo, these blokes. Oh, there's no doubt. Powerful tail. And we're using that wire, that 28-pound single-strand wire, and I'll just snip that off. So we've got rid of Good that. Mate. Yeah, and, and he's got razor sharp teeth. That's why we use that wire, but in good condition. If you're going to let a big pelagic fish like this go, get a quick photo and spear him straight back in. Away you go, way. Bunny. Well, as far as tackle goes, when chasing, uh, chasing mackerel like this, beautiful outfit, this one. Uh, 10 kilos, so 20 pound nylon on the old scale. But uh, it's got a roller runner just to keep a little bit of heat out of the tip back up here. And uh, lever action drag there, make sure that ratchet's on and just add a little bit of drag pressure so if that uh, mackerel goes screaming off you don't get an overrun. And then once, uh, once you get the bite, just ease that lever up and away you go. As far as the rig goes uh, for these spotted mackerel, we've got some little 4.0 chemically sharpened owner hooks and you need razor sharp hooks. They're fairly hard in the mouth mackerel. I know they've got sharp teeth. The other important ingredient is that single strand wire and we're using 28 pound which is pretty light so you do need to have that nice light rod don't you Barney you and, do, um, you and not pull too hard. If it does, if it kinks or bends then uh, it can easily bust off. So there you go, there's your rig, pretty simple. Go hey, Barney. Woo! <laughs> and he's on again. Oh. Nice run, mate. <laughs> <laughs> this could be a Spanish, I think. What's that other boat there, Barney? Right on, mate. You're away, eh? Not yet. Wow. That is a good, that's a good fish, mate. That's a great run. Bit of colour. 
What do we got? What do we got? Spotted mackerel? Sure, yeah. Good run. Oh, wasn't it what? <laughs> uh, Spotty, yeah, nice spotty. Spotty. Beauty. <laughs> That's a cracker, <laughs> isn't it? Look at that. That's a cracker. Another big spotted mackerel. This fella's hasn't got a lot of life back in him. We will keep one for dinner today, and I guess, mate, this might be him. He looks like he's just got the hook up underneath the gill latch there a bit, and he might have had a little bit of a bleed, unfortunately, but. You know, fishing, you just take what you need. That one fish will certainly feed Barney's family and my family, so I'd say this one's going to be dinner. But they are a really good eating fish. Um, two big fillets on the side, and, and um, you do need to bleed them and get them into an ice slurry if you're going to look after them and eat them. But uh, that's a cracker, mate. Well done. Let's the bite's happening. Let's get another Let's eh? get another you one out. keep that burly going too, mate, eh? <laughs> Definitely that keep that burly going. going. So there's our... There's our livey rigged. A simple matter now of just dropping him in the water. And that current's running back fairly swiftly. And just feeding him out. Now it's important to just let your thumb and be ready for a run. Let your thumb just be the brake on the back of that reel there as he ticks out. So if you get a run from one of these things, they'll instantly bird nest things up. So I'll put the ratchet on and add a little bit of drag pressure once I get him out. But he's just feeding back in our burly trial. And you never know, there could be a mackerel, spotted or Spanish, just waiting there at the moment. So I'll just let him tick over. And then once you get out about the desired position, quite often you use balloons, I might put a balloon on one later. But at the moment, because there's so much current, we're rigging them so that front hook is forward on the bait. So what happens is it'll turn and keep the, the, uh, the fish's head, the bait's head, the slimy's head, into the current. So he's got that water rushing through his gills and he'll stay alive and nice and lively sitting in the current. If you were to hook him up the other way, he'll try and swim around. Sure, he'll make a fair bit of racket for a while, but he'll soon wear himself out and not be as lively as a bait. So when the current's running, use that for your, in your, uh, your favour and your, for your advantage. Whether you're using a circle hook or J-hooks like we're using at the moment, keep the head of that bait in the current and he'll last a lot longer. Well, it's a cracking day out here, but even on these partly cloudy, overcast days, the sun can be really, really quite bad. Um, a lot of reflection off the water. So, you know, it's a pretty simple message. Slip, slop, slap, pair of sunnies to protect your eyes, hat on top. And, of course, Columbia have been making the best in fishermen's clothing, performance fishing gear for such a long time, whether it's pants or long sleeve shirts like this. And uh, Aquasun is the fisherman's sunscreen. Dries on your hands and uh, it's certainly going to protect you from that sun. Make sure you reapply every four hours. And if you find a spot somewhere on your body that you're a bit worried about, go and get it checked out. Well, we just thought we'd go and move and set up, set up our burly trail. I'll just turn that engine off for a minute. Not that you can hardly hear it. And set up our burly trail somewhere else. And a uh, couple of big backflips and jumps. It looks like we've got a nice uh, dolphin fish on the... On, uh, which is uh, right in close. Now these are one of the true pelagic fish, the old mahi-mahi. Look at the colours there, Barney. Beautiful looking fish. Aren't they awesome, mate? Mahi-mahi. Look at that. There he goes. He did a couple of good uh, backflips there to start with. There he is. Great looking fish. Oh, and they got some serious speed about them as well. Now, look at that guy. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. That's a nice jump. Oh, they're a great looking fish. I'll just lift that mincoder up, mate, I think. No, we're all right. You're all right? No, we're good. Back around there. So this fella was in our burly trail. All those cubes have done their job. And just when we were leaving to just uh, move over a little bit, we thought, oh, we'll just... Um, we'll just uh, troll a bait across. So we just left the bait down and bang. Beautiful little dollies coming and eating it. Here he comes again. They're awesome looking fish. Woo! <laughs> Beautiful. Look at the colours on oh, that one. They're a great looking fish. So one of the fastest growing fish in the ocean is the mighty mahi mahi, or we call them dolphin fish, I guess, around here. But look at that big dorsal fin, that bump. Look at, this. Look at that, Barney. So he's a male, isn't he, that yeah, bloke? Yeah. They can grow to an incredible near, near 40 kilos. This bloke's nowhere near that yet, but I'll tell you what, three or four years he could nearly reach that size. That's how fast they grow.